What is up guys, Morton here from SteamFirst.com with a review for Capsule, a survival game developed by Adam Saltman and Robin Arnott and released February 14th, 2012 on Steam for $5. Capsule is probably one of the most unique games I've ever played. You play the entire game through a radar interface and you need to navigate from one location to the next before you run out of power or oxygen. You can find air pockets or fuel on your way, but you'll need to scan nearby debris for it. The gameplay is interesting, but it gets kind of redundant and frustrating pretty quickly. For starters, it tells you exactly where to go basically, so there's no exploration involved. All you do is head in whichever direction you need to head in, but it becomes a lot about luck and going in circles after the first couple of missions. You run out of oxygen and fuel pretty quickly, so you need to constantly be scanning for more. The problem is, it's pretty rare. You can go for quite a while without ever finding either resource if you're unlucky, even if you scan everything you pass. So then it requires you to go out of your way to get whatever you need, which increases the length by a significant amount. I understand that the game would be far too easy if this wasn't a problem, but there's other ways it could be difficult. There are other things that fly around and do damage when they collide with you, but that's about the only other problem you'll run into. The idea is that it's supposed to be chaotic when you need to quickly find oxygen, which has an awesome sound effect of someone gasping for air by the way, but I find that I don't really care if I die or not. The only penalty for dying is being forced to restart the mission, and this can sometimes be annoying if you're close to the goal, but otherwise it's really not a big deal. And because the whole game takes place on a radar screen, there's no person I can feel connected to or care about. So aside from the annoyance of having to restart the mission over, I never felt like failing was all that bad. That's not to say it wasn't aggravating though. The game is so random that there's times it feels like you simply can't do anything. You need to play incredibly slow and make sure to scan everything you pass because you never know when you'll find oxygen or fuel again. This isn't really bad and it makes the game take a bit longer which is good because it'd be very short otherwise, but it certainly isn't for everybody. I know a lot of people that wouldn't have the patience to roam around scanning everything possible. The gameplay is pretty fun though, it can get pretty tense when you're running out of oxygen and desperately searching for more. The gameplay gets a 3.5 out of 5. It certainly isn't as in-depth as other survival games, but it's very atmospheric even though it's so minimalistic. Visually, the game's kind of mediocre. The radar interface is fine, but the text is pretty hard to read a lot of the time. Trying to read the messages in between missions is just annoying. So annoying, in fact, that I gave up after the first couple missions and decided the story wasn't worth the effort. Not to mention, everything on the screen is just a white circle, so there's not a whole lot of variety. Graphics get a 2 out of 5. I get what they were going for trying to be a realistic radar screen, and I'm sure real radars are hard to read, but it just makes the game more aggravating. On the other hand, however, the audio is amazing. Everything about the sound is really good, but I think that the gasping sounds when you're running out of oxygen are the best part. They sound very realistic, and they make a hectic moment even more tense. But it isn't just that. The breathing all the way through, the sound of the vibrations from the ship you're on, the sound of the radar both when you send it out and when it detects things, it all sounds fantastic. Sound gets a 5 out of 5. I honestly don't see any way they could have possibly made it better. As for replayability, it's kind of hard to judge. You could replay over and over because it is kind of random when you find oxygen and fuel, but at the same time there's no incentive to do so. It really does feel like a one and done type game. There's only a few achievements and you'll probably do them your first time through. Other than that, the only reason to replay the game would be just to experience it again. And it is atmospheric and unique, so there's some merit to that, but at the end of the day, unless you really enjoyed the game, there's no reason to play it again. Replayability gets a 1.5 out of 5. Overall, Capsule isn't bad, and it's unique enough to be worth your time if you're a fan of the survival genre, but it lacks depth and it can be insanely annoying when you desperately need oxygen but can't find any no matter how hard you try. The sound being exceptional is a plus, but it can't carry the game by itself. The gameplay is definitely tense and can get hectic, but it can also get boring with long sections of just going straight and not finding anything you need. Capsule gets a 3 out of 5. It's worth playing for the uniqueness alone, but it's only a couple of hours long and it's very possible to get bored of it before then.